On March 23rd, we had the opportunity to work with one of the fastest players on the LPGA Tour, Nana Quartz Madsen. And we got to look at everything from a detailed physical assessment, ground force data, biomechanics data, and everything else that could be affecting Nana's speed and power. We were able to, over the course of that day, identify some key points that can help her optimize her speed and power. Let's take a look. All right, Nana, so the first drill in this protocol is gonna be called skaters. And by the way, feel free to ask any questions about any of these while, as we're going. I wanna make sure that you kind of have a good understanding of how to do these. So when you get out and you're practicing them, we're getting the right results. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start kind of feet together. I want you to jump to the right. As you land here, I want you to feel like you're kind of landing into toward the heel of that foot, kind of feel your right glute kind of activate. And then I want you to explode back the other way as far as you can. And it's gonna go in just one motion. So just jump, load, explode the other way. All right, let's see it. Oh, now, hey, interesting enough, yeah. that's the move we're trying to get rid of, yeah. okay? so. I'm not shocked that we saw that pop up here right away when we were in this drill. But again, if you feel that, make sure that we're really trying to land hard on the inside of that, that foot so that we can load and explode back the other direction. So when we say skaters, there's a, a lot of different ways to do these drills, right? The way I wanna do this one is to focus on the idea of you feeling like you're loading on that right foot and exploding back to the left. I don't really care what happens beyond that, okay? So this, so coming this way doesn't really, that's more the land. This way matters because I want you to land, load, try to get it a little more toward like the heel of that foot, feel that right glued on, right? And, but the part as far as where the power is, I want to see how far you can get back the other way. Good, now reset. Okay, try to make this land thing happen, but don't stop. Boom. Okay. I think a lot of the things that we're finding here, it's not that these are totally new things for you. It's just maybe like a tiny little tweak of exactly the way you're doing it. In those subtleties sometimes, especially with high level players like this, those tiny little subtleties in the movement are what it's all about. Your goal with this drill is I want you to make sure that you are always further to the left than where you started. All right, Nana, so now we're gonna get onto the second drill in this protocol. It's called our step back swings. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna set up in your normal stance and then I'm gonna have you bring your trail foot up toward the lead. You're gonna swing the club forward a little bit and then as the club's coming back, you're gonna step back and plant with that same kind of feel we had in the skaters, get back into your swing and then let it rip. All right, cool. Now I'm gonna give you your seven iron and this again, first time through this protocol, we're gonna use seven iron. We're gonna do that and hit a ball. Perfect. Good. Now, I, again, I don't know, not all golf coaches do a lot of drills where we're asking you to move the club and step and do footwork patterns. I think they're incredibly effective. And as you can see, it doesn't really affect that much about how you strike the ball. Feels a little bit awkward maybe at the start, but I promise like as you get better at doing these, this is gonna make a huge difference in what we're seeing. Now, anything popping up as a feel yet on that right side? Like, can you uh, describe it at all to me? Definitely feels a little maybe stronger coming over here, because. So kind of strong, like stronger over. coming into yeah. like that, that right. Coming more over here. Okay. All right, so I like that. I think we'll use that term. So it kind of feels stronger as you're loading or stronger into the backswing. Yeah. Okay, I like that. So the next one we're gonna do, this is one we actually worked on last year, but it was kind of out of context of some of this other stuff. So I think we'll get some more, get it more effective. Go ahead and set up. I'm gonna go ahead and give you that guy. So again, we're gonna getting least like the golf swing to more like the golf swing, right? Yeah. Go ahead and get into your setup. So I'm gonna go ahead and have you just lift that up a little bit, put that under there. So now, You've got that larger force pedal kind of under that foot. Now, instead of actually moving the foot and taking a step, I want you to make a swing trying to just smash that into the ground as hard as you can, feeling that you know, real strong sensation into the backswing, let it rip. Get that stronger feel and you know, feel athletic with it. So now, I mean, we're already getting in that over 100 range with this club that's like you know, pretty good, probably like five, 6% heavier than your driver. Let's hit some shots. 
when you get yourself in a poorly loaded position here, the tendency that we saw from you on the data is to get way too much toward your toes and the outside. And what that's gonna do for you is you're gonna end up coming over a little bit more. And now all of a sudden we have our left shot. You may dump it a little early and there we get our little slightly chunky shot. Okay, so I actually think that working on this with irons from a mechanics standpoint is going to be absolutely essential. We'll do it with driver two to really try to top out those speeds. When you get that stronger feel, I would think that you're going to start to get a connection to that kind of really crisp ball contact. So that's kind of step one, stage one of that protocol. All right, so our next drill that we're going to do um, is one that you're very familiar with, just our step change of direction drill. And I'm using that red super speed club here to kind of exaggerate the feel of, I still want you to kind of feel that strong load, even though now we're, we're really stepping forward, right? Don't let those speeds go down, rip it. Nice. Guess what we're gonna do now? We're gonna hit balls with that drill. All right, cool. What I like back, I'm watching some of the track man down, like, even as you're kind of getting more comfortable, we're slowly creeping up in ball speed, which I love to see. I don't know, Nana, we might just have to play like this. <laughs> yeah, <maybe. laughs> All right, now we're gonna do a drill with the small force pedal under the ball of the lead foot. So this is kind of similar to what we just did. So get it kind of, I would say at least three quarters under the foot so that it's right there on the ball. Same kind of feel that we got on that step. You're gonna feel that strong load and then I want you to feel like you really push hard into that force pedal down and kind of toward the ball. Good. You have to, in order for your foot to come up and out and around, you've got to be pushing really, really hard down, because the down's going to make it come up, and then forward toward the ball, which makes it go that way. So the way you push is opposite of the way that force is gonna push your body. Nice, like the idea there. Let's get the seven iron back, let's hit a couple shots. Nice. Getting the feel of that pushing toward the ball thing is kinda of a little bit different. Um, let's go ahead now and take that force pedal away. And the last drill that we're gonna do is just application. So at the very end, we just try to apply those feels. You're gonna try to get that you know, the biggest one for you here is that stronger feel into the trail side. Good strong load, explode. That one looked like you did it the best of any of the ones I've seen. You've got to dial up the athleticism a little bit. I, I do like when I don't get to that point where I don't feel like I can come back. Like, mm -hmm. more, like I was saying before, stronger. So the whole, the whole thing here, that stronger feel keeps you from getting to that kind of point of no return, yeah. right? Now, what I want you to do when you go practice that yourself, once with an iron, you go back through it with driver. What I'd like to do is just kind of focus those trail side ones real quick. First, give me two practice swings here with that step back drill. Excellent. So now I want you to do a couple practice swings. And again, we would normally do this whole drill thing again with hitting balls and all the nine yards under the trail heel. So get it, get it back toward the heel, right? Make that practice swing really feel that hard load into the right side, stronger load, right? And then rip it. Cool. So this would be kind of the end in the application piece. Just now with driver, just really feeling that strong load and then let it rip. Okay, good. All right, so your feel there, kind of that strong load into the right side and then really kind of letting that rip with driver. Yeah. All right, let me see that. So that's, a, that's ground force level two.